Now, in this box is a new gun from a company with a new logo, BRK, you'll know them as Brocock, and it's a very special gun. I've been lucky enough to test this over the last month or so, and today I've been invited down to the shooting range here in Reading to actually test not only this, but also the two other models in the range. What are they? Well, they're the new BRK Ghost, and I think it's about time we started talking about it. Tony. Hello, nice. Welcome to Ready. Firstly, thank you very much indeed for giving me sight of the BRK Ghost, the carbine right. version. Yes. And secondly, thank you very much for inviting me down to see the other two in the range, the BRK Ghost Plus and the BRK Ghost HP High Power. But first of all, I've also got a lot of questions. I know this gun inside out, mm -hmm. but I want to know a little bit more about what has gone into making this new gun of yours. So let's give you some answers. It is a monocoque body, That's right. That's chassis. The, the, the biggest features of the rifle is a solid chassis and very similar to the Daystate Alpha Wolf, Delta Wolf design, is you have one solid piece of aluminium at the back which is everything fits into, all the secondary chamber, the regulator, a special uh, valve assembly, they all go into this one piece design. Anything that can flex and move on a PCP, as the pressure changes throughout the cycle of the gun, then it will cause some form of movement. And that is why this, this rifle has been so remarkably consistent and I've got to say accurate with a, a, a good deal of pellets that I've put through it over the, over the past four weeks. This gun's are engineered to be everything you need it to be. So it's got everything in there that you need, nothing extra, nothing missing. And this solid chassis, this monocoque chassis that we've designed in this gun makes it a shooting machine. So this little wheel on the end of the butt, this is obviously something that is quite, quite a feature of the BRK Ghost. We've always had uh, for a long time now, a low, medium and a high power adjustability setting. We don't use the low power, generally speaking, do we? Very few of us use the medium. We just leave it on high. But this is 20 levels of power adjustment, which offers an incredible amount of fine tuning. Tell me more, Tony. On the 12 foot pound rifle we have in front of you there, each one of those settings is about five feet per second. So you've got 20 settings taking you down so you can fine tune it to the ammunition you want. <laughs> On the high power rifle we have here, it's actually even more useful because you can take the power right down to about two thirds of power and have all these 20 settings in between. It does depend on the caliber and the setting of the rifle, pellet weight and a regulator pressure, but it gives you a quite a useful range of, of different fine tuning in the rifle. So it's it's both on the, the high power version, it's also on the plus version, as well as on the carbine. That's the 12 right, identical version. across the three. It has different effects depending on what Well, power I found it extremely useful, I have to say, because with certain pellets, you just know that if you could knock 10, 15 feet per second off, you get a, 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 you know, a better grouping. The one thing that I really have noticed about the 12 foot pound carbine is that to shoot, it is not just recoilless, it is dead. To me, you have done something to the internals. Now, I'm sure it's not just the monocoque chassis that's doing this. Have you played around with the valve in here? It's got a new valve in it, a completely ah. new assembly, and it's really taken from the Alpha Wolf and Delta Wolf again. And this is a balanced valve which we're using in those rifles, and it's been moved into the Ghost. It's incredibly interesting technology it's right in there you can get at it with removing one screw and then it unscrews so you've got the whole valve assembly comes out as a unit oh so the service agent's going to love that it takes seconds to service yeah, this rifle great. and that valve unit being a balanced valve has takes very little resistance to move it off one of the interesting things of the electronic rifles is how dead they are to shoot but the mechanical rifles have a bit more going on but in the ghost the brk goes for the first time we're able to mimic that lack of deadness right. in this rifle. Well, this is this is one of the deadest PCPs I've ever fired. Certainly, the deadest Brocock I've ever fired. So we've got the the sixty five foot pound two two here. Would you like to go on that one? I certainly would. This is the one that can do a hundred foot pounds in thirty caliber, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, I would like. I'll to just go with mention that. on this point that the caliber change on this is one screw. I can change a bolt over with two screws, and I can change the caliber in. So it's, mm -hmm. it, so I know you've quoted the Alpha and Delta Wolf earlier. This is the same yes, system? Yes, it's the same design and you can use the same change over time. About six minutes to change calibers, isn't that crazy? Uh, but this one's set up 65 foot pound 2.2. I've got a magazine loaded here for you. Let's go. Goodness gracious, that is a lot more powerful than the 12 foot pound. What did yeah, you say? 60, 65 foot pound? 65 did you say? Foot. Wow. Running 25 grain pellets out of this one. Yeah, you, oh, can, you, well, you know that there's a heavier pellet because there is a little bit of muzzle lift but that is so quick. 
And that is so easy, so yes. easy to cop, yeah. isn't it? Can I please shoot the plus? Of course you can. Before I start shooting, I need to ask you another question. When I fire that HP, and this is a, an 18 foot pound 177 plus, there's this little thing here. Now, my carbine didn't have that. No, what the 12 is it? foot pound guns are set. And in fact, changing the regulator pressure on the 12 foot pound guns doesn't really do much. No. Um, whereas on the high power rifles, it does. It gives you a second level of adjustment. This is a humor air regulator inside these guns. Again, easy access right of where you can get to it. And it has a regulator adjuster here. So we've got fine tuning. So not only on the power, we've got fine tuning of the regulator which i know many people who shoot at the higher powers which we in the uk you can tend. balance the gun a lot better yeah. by doing that particularly on the high power rifles like this so this is set up as an 18 foot pound 177 right. but it wouldn't take very long to change it into a 35 foot pound right so we we've got the humor uh, it's a humor air egg yeah so we've got the humor air egg gauge on that side and what do we do we just we just tweak it and look at the gauge and see what it's doing that's exactly right if you want to reduce the reg pressure you turn it out and if you want to increase the regulator pressure you turn it in well that's sounds simple um great can i shoot it yes off you go so how much allowance do we allow for the raindrops uh, absolutely uh, none now this rifle here is fitted with a, a number of accessories a cheap rail riser a, an adjustable butt pad and a fast uh, speed cocking lever on the side just to increase the cocking cycle if you oh, wanted yes. to and we've got a riser so the riser means we can double up the magazine yes with, with the cheapest riser you can put two magazines in one on each side to push it through so doubling your shot capacity so you have one there well, you're right, it makes no difference downrange in the rain, does it? Lovely. You really do feel the benefit of that firing cycle with that uh, alpha balanced yeah, it's fast Completely flow, still, though. even though it's a more powerful rifle, you it doesn't move at all. Very quiet with the silencer on as well. Yes, yeah, I think it finishes, balances the looks a little bit better, but of course it, it's, it is silenced without it. This is a silenced uh, shroud over the barrel. And I see that on this one, we've brought the scope rail back to allow for this yeah, We're scope. using a low eye relief scope here, yeah. prismatic. And because of that, we need to bring the scope back. Now on a lot of rifles, that kind of sometimes means different mounts, different mounting systems are hanging it back off the rail. But on the BRK Ghost, we have this a rail which runs um, on a 11, 12 millimeter rail at the bottom and the Picatinny at the top. And we can just simply undo these four screws and move it back and forward. We've talked about the modular platform and all the extra accessories that, that we can put on. Uh, one of the things that really appeals to me is the fact that I can change calibre so easily with the barrel. And presumably I can put a smaller bottle on, on this model if I, I mean, I've got to empty all the air, I guess. And no, you don't. So there's a valve in the bottle, so you simply unscrew it and you can change the bottles over that way. So you can actually buy an additional bottle kit and put it on if you want. But we have an option here of a 480cc carbon fibre bottle or a 300cc carbon fibre bottle. Which, so someone like me that does a lot of testing and I don't always want to take all my charging gear with me wherever I go it's fine when you're at a club range but if you're out to the field and you want a day's shooting then you might just carry a spare bottle with you unscrew the exhausted bottle put a new one on and, and where you go you could do but bear in mind on the 12 foot pound rifle which you'd be shooting Nigel you're going to get over 400 shots out of one of these bottles and probably over 300 with a smaller bottle how much shooting do you plan to do that is a lot of shot and I guess that the valve is is the reason that you uh, we are now so efficient that's on the right yes. yeah. we've known each other a long time and you know that I'm a little bit fussy about my triggers this is very nice this is a bit special Yes, it is. It's a completely new trigger design for this rifle. Um, it's uh, multi-adjustable. It will go quite heavy for a hunter who wants a positive, safe trigger. And yet, you, with some small adjustment, you can get that down to a few ounces in weight. It's an incredibly good trigger. So like the, like the rifle, which could span so many different disciplines, whether you are shooting targets, hunter field target, F FT, bench rest, if you're at the club or if you're hunting, you're going to find exactly where you're, not just in power, but also how you set your trigger. The design of the rifle is modular and is designed to be everything. So you can take stuff off and have the basic rifle that you were shooting up until today. Or like this one here, we can bestoon it in features and accessories. We can set the trigger to be target light. We can put on different calibers, different silencers, different scopes. But can it stop the rain? Unfortunately, no. We have to work on that one. There's an arrow on this rail. What does that mean? 
But what it means is this particular rail has a 0.3 degree downward tilt, which effectively brings the barrel up. So instead of having to dial everything in using the scope itself, which is using the optics ah. to bend the angle, the, the gun itself has a slight angle. In fact, you can see it if you look closely. Yeah. It's very subtle and it just brings everything into optical. So center. this saves packing the rear mount and stressing a scope and we've or got a rifle. have adjustable mounts and adjustments can move. So this yeah. takes that all away. Yeah. So really Really, we've got a monocoque chassis and we've got the ability now to have a rock solid scope mount on it positioned wherever we want it exactly right, right I'm gonna carry on shooting do you want to have a go on on the other gun yeah well I've got a high power one here so I think I'll have a go with that 40 yards loser buys well I've got the FAC gun so you're on I'm at a disadvantage with the rain the big book of excuses died Just for the record, raindrops knock 18 foot band pellets further down than 65 foot band pellets. Yes, I didn't notice any difference at all. Listen, 65 foot pounds, not a cat in hell's chance for the 18 foot pound guy, so he's going to get the targets. Off you go. <laughs> I'll keep the umbrella. <laughs> Hurry up, Tony. It's raining. Here we are then. Ooh. That's your one. Not bad. Ooh. And that's the FAC one. And you can see the fuller shot on the on the 18 foot pound compared to the 65. I'm still on the same point of impact as I was at closer ranges. But I mean, 40 meters, that's less than my thumbnail, 65 yeah. foot pounds, pretty much my thumbnail, 18 foot pounds, 17722. Of course, there's a bigger pallet. So that's yeah, really yeah. Well, I, I mean, I'd like to say it's a draw, but given that I was on a third of the power you were on, it was raining particularly heavy. I think I've got to take the win and you've got to buy, you've got to buy tonight, well, don't you think? Well, if that's the way you want to, sure. <laughs> you could just give me the gun and I'll be happy. So that's the BRK Ghost, a brand new rifle from BRK Brokop. What do you think of it? Well, I, you know, I, I can't hide the fact that I really did fall in love with this. To me, it's the, the best Brokop yet. I think the new logo, I love it, BRK. Uh, I love the three models and thank you so much for letting me have a month's loan of this. My only disappointment, in fact, has been I've got to give it back and today, but I've thoroughly enjoyed shooting the other two models in the range as well. The plus impressed me. You can't argue with a group like that. You know, six shots at 40 meters in the rain. Admittedly, there wasn't too much wind, but that is, that is some shooting, but it was easy. I've never shot that gun until today and that's how easy it is to shoot. The high power, well, who wouldn't want an HP if, well, if you can have 70 foot pounds or 100 foot pounds? I, I'm going to, yeah. it, it's hard to put that down, to be honest. It was very nice. It really yeah. is. I mean, it, I, I love the 20, the 20 level power setting is something that I would use. That isn't a gimmick for me. I love the idea that you've broken new ground in, in de developing this monocoque chassis and everything else on there. It is everything you want in a gun, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, yeah. I. I have absolutely loved it and thank you very much for the opportunity to to play with with, with such a lovely lovely piece of kit and, and nice. we'll have to do it again yeah. sometime okay well i'll look forward to you buying now the losers round <laughs>